Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Tally back again with another video for you all. Um, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Um, manifestation, manifesting, chasing your goals and dreams. Um, I hope we are developing a closer relationship with our creator, with God. For me, that is Jesus Christ. And um, getting closer with him and really seeking the um the purpose and the desire his will for your life because honestly this is what it's all about this is the most important thing this is why i'm here this is why we're all here because if you don't have that if you don't have a relationship with him and you you're not seeking purpose um this life gets to gets to feeling meaningless and you start um doing things for no reason you start acting in different ways and you take off you take on a persona and and different things that are not you because you're trying to figure out you and you're trying to figure out purpose when in reality the only way you're gonna really find out who you are the only way you're really gonna ascend to your best your best self and and really feel fulfilled in life okay and be able to cut out what is not for you and be able to take on what is for you the only way you'll be able to do that is if you have that relationship with god where he is pouring into you and you trust him and he's and you're accepting him and that's when you'll be able to love yourself and that's when you'll be able to accept yourself so you don't have so no longer you have to act out of character and do things that are that are not you and do things that are beside yourself um that's for someone right there <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm laughing because just some events took place today and um maybe maybe a few months ago maybe even like a year ago that would have kind of ruined my day and it would kind of like sent me into like some kind of um not a, a full downward spiral but just emotionally it would have caused a lot of emotion emotional turmoil within me but i'm laughing because the same thing that used to do this to me and used to make me feel some type of way i finally see and, and it always comes okay i don't there's two ways i want to go with this the same thing that used to cause me to go into some emotional turmoil that used to affect me negatively that used to probably mess up my day the same thing i see it, it 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 has little to no effect on me and i'm able to overcome it and it's just it's just pointless and then when you see that actually happen in your life that's when you know that the work you're doing in your life to better yourself to uh just to the the inner work the inner work that's gonna strengthen you mentally spiritually when you see that happen you overcome something that that in the past would have um had power over you when you see that you overcame it that is the one of the best feelings i'm experiencing a lot of good feelings nowadays that feel like the best feelings but that is one of the best feelings ever when something that would have had power of you had power over you to change your 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 mind your mood your day now it's like nothing and that is just such a great feeling and that just confirms to me guys it confirms to me that the work i'm doing and the work that i'm telling you guys out there to do it is working it is working and the work i'm just talking about is like i said developing that relationship with god with jesus christ that's my god that's who i serve and um just seeking purpose and always be open and willing to um to change to put in the work and the effort you need to put in to change to be better to do better in any area in every in any in every area of your life amazing amazing now um i'm making this video today because when you are in that space and you're on that path you know you're you're uh, you're aligned you're in tune um you're doing the best that you can to to make your life better to take your life to the next level this is the time where 
opposition is gonna rise and i believe i've said that in a video i've said that in the video called focus on yourself opposition is going to rise because there is a reason why things were trying to trap you why it felt like things were trying to trap you in the life that you used to live previously all right and what what we don't understand is uh a lot of times is what we call the spiritual warfare that is against our own lives we love to look at spiritual warfare and things attacking other people's lives but what we don't understand is this what we don't seek to understand is a spiritual warfare that attacks our own life and when you finally go on this journey of self-discovery and self-love all right you're gonna have to go back to your past you may you may have to go back to your past and you may even have to go back to what you know about your mother's past your grandmother's past and if you could effectively analyze those things objectively so not you're not being judgmental you're not trying to say what should have could have would have happened you feel me you're not um upset about it but you 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 um seek to understand it and when you're able to do that and look at those things objectively you're gonna see a pattern come oh my god i just feel i just feel the the um the passion the the inkling to just speak on this in my heart guys when i speak i'm telling you like I don't get on here just to like when I wake up in the morning and I be like or whatever throughout the day and I'm like okay I gotta make a video I don't be like okay I gotta make a video oh I gotta be seen oh I'm doing this because I want to be seen I want to be heard I like the sound of my voice I don't even like the sound of my voice when I listen to the videos it's like a, a, a chalkboard like you know when someone's someone's scratching nails on a chalkboard and it may sound like that to other people who don't want to listen to me either but it sounds like that to me so when I have something I got to speak about it, it it is truly a deposit okay from the Lord that he wants me to speak about because this is my destiny this is my lane whether whether I wanted to accept, wanted to accept it or not, or whether other people want to accept it or not, I know in my heart that this is my lane. So when I'm talking to you about this, what was I saying? I was when I'm talking to you about this, this is really deep. This is really a revelation. This is really God using me to speak to the people. Okay, so what I was saying is when you analyze your past and you either go back and analyze what your mother been through, what your grandmother been through, what your family been through, what your what your dad been through, what your grandpa been through. When you analyze those things, uh, you begin to see a pattern and, a, and the pattern that you see, you see good patterns, you see bad patterns. But the patterns I'm talking about today is the patterns where you see the attack on their life and the attack is what they had to deal with what what made them imperfect what made what the losses that they took the l's that they took the the um the the adversity that they couldn't quite make it out of like everybody has that in their family everybody has something some kind of vice even some kind of addiction something that attacked their their grandma their grandpas their mother their father before them and that same thing is trying to attack your life you're gonna see a pattern if you actually do the if you actually dig and you do the work whether you know it or not because some people are not able to go back to their past and analyze anything because they may not know those people or be in close connection with those people but i guarantee you if you ever were to find out anything you would understand and say you say you see like this this is why this is why this my mother dealt with this my grandma dealt with this my dad dealt with this this is why i'm dealing with this so that's what the journey of self-love and discovery that's that's the tough part of it because you're gonna uncover some things that um that that um that is deep things that you're gonna see that this is the same thing the same thing that i'm dealing with the same thing that's attacking my life the same thing i'm struggling so hard to overcome my mother used to deal with the same thing my grandma used to deal with the same thing my 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 mother's dealing with the same thing and the worst my siblings are dealing with the same thing and sometimes your siblings are not even aware of the attack your siblings are are victims to the attack 
attack because they're not aware of the attack. You feel me? So that's just so important to go on that journey because once you have the insight, once you have the knowledge of it, then and only then you can begin to 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 um, make out your plan of action or some strategic plan that you have to overcome this and especially especially if you have god because me being able to do that work i'm sorry me being able to do that work and analyze my life in this way me being i'm sorry guys i'm looking at some yeah me being able to analyze my life in this way me having the me being cognizant of that me having the knowledge for that i owe it all to god I owe it all to God. And when I do the work and I see the the plan, what the plan of the enemy, what he had for my life, what he had for my life, I am so grateful that I that God loved me, that God loved me before I even knew he loved me, that he cared for me and he reached out for me and he found me in the, my darkness. And he rescued me and he opened my eyes to the truth so the enemy, so I could have a chance that the enemy does not have his way with my life. Because if I didn't, if I wasn't open to the knowledge, if I shunned the knowledge, if I didn't have this knowledge at 27, me on this great journey, this great path, feeling good about myself, feeling blessed, more confident than ever on this great journey, loving myself, this wouldn't be me. This wouldn't be me, okay? If I could be honest with you guys and don't don't think I'm down talking myself or anything like that, but if 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 the enemy had his way, I would be I would be a baby mama by now. All right? And I I don't want to offend anybody cuz somebody out there watching this, you could be a baby mama too, but I'm telling you once you open your eyes to the truth about your life and you start going on a journey with with God, with God and listening for his voice and getting closer with him and de developing an actual relationship with him, the, the tide is going to change. Your path, your trajectory in life is going to change significantly. And everything you had to endure before that change happened, don't worry. You're still, you're going to find something to be grateful for. And that's going to be all a part of your testimony. But I have to talk about me and what's real for me. You understand? So I'm not trying to down talk you being a single mother, a baby mother, or anything else I'm about to say. I'm not trying to down talk you because I know God is, if you allow him, he can use your pain for purpose. I have pain of my own too. I probably have things that you probably never dealt with. And if somebody was to say it, bring it up in the video, I'm healed. So it wouldn't affect me. But I understand there's other people who are not as healed as I am. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you, I'm Honestly, sister, brother, I am not trying to offend you, but I just know the plan of the enemy, what he had prepared for my life. If I didn't open my eyes and ears and trust God and build the relationship with God I have today. So if, if, if the enemy had his way with me, I would have been a baby mother and um, I could have been a baby mother to multiple, multiple different fathers. And if I wasn't going to be a baby mother, I would be married right now because I would be married right now with uh, different kids, married right now with kids. And my husband would have been a not so good husband. And I probably would have married somebody I wasn't supposed to marry. And I would have been struggling right now, trying to make it shake for me and my kids because I don't have a husband to depend on. Um just so many different things that the enemy would have set up for me and even and i'm talking about it on a light level because there's so many different problems there's so many different issues that stem from just being a baby mother or that stem from being in a marriage with a man that doesn't love you and uh a man that you cannot depend on there's gonna there, it's like a snowball effect of different issues that stem from just being that but what I really wanted to say is you have to understand the spiritual warfare against you. You have to understand that the impact, because what it's really about is the impact that you're meant to have on this world. And it could be an impact where you're known in 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 the whole world you know it, it could be a as big of an impact as that where you're worldwide you're known worldwide or it could be as 
as big as an impact because I don't think this this is a small impact. It could be as big as an impact of on your children because that's a big impact too. It's not it's not you impacting the whole world, but it's the impact on your children and your children's children because what you do to them is going to go it's going to multiply generations to come from generations come from you. So that's an impact in itself too. That's a huge impact in itself. If you're if you're not called to be a, a world changer and affect the world you still have an impact that you're gonna make on your children and on your family line and on your generation which is still a huge impact so what we have to realize is you have an impact to be made and when you have an impact to be made there's going to be so many things that try to come up against you that try to come up against you another thing i would have been out here doing whatever not knowing how to be myself full of shame full of guilt i would have still been in a place where i couldn't accept myself couldn't like myself there's so much that comes from not being able to like yourself you're out here doing whatever treating yourself wrong letting people treat you any kind of way being full of insecurity operating from that way probably going through boyfriend after boyfriend it's just so many things that but i i've done the work to see that was the plan for me but have you done the work to see if, what was the plan for you what is the plan for you if you don't change your life and 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 um accept god into your life accept jesus into your life do you know what the plan is for you so when I when I look at myself, but I'm using myself as an example. I was watching a video today and that's exactly what he said. It's funny how people you watch have an impact on you, but I have my own message. Just know I may say things that that people that other people do I listen to mentors say and that's that just happens when you have a mentor, but I have my own message. All right, so you can you you get you're like your mentors. If you have people you listen to, you're gonna there's gonna be some similarities. But I have my own message that God has given me to speak to people about, and that's what it is. You have to be authentic in that way. But I'm using myself as an example. But I want you to think about for yourself. Think about what's what the enemy had set up for you, or what is the enemy trying to railroad you into, so you don't have the impact on this world that God has. Called called you to have and I'm like as I was saying you have to understand that because you are called for something there's gonna be things the spiritual warfare as I said that is set up against your life to try to stop you from becoming who you are I already told you guys I I already told you guys I come from being rejected that hasn't even stopped yet that hasn't even stopped yet, but guess what? I could thank God for the rejection because if, if I didn't get rejected, like I said in the other video that I made, if I didn't get rejected at certain points, I would have settled in these things. And God didn't call me to settle in anything. He's When he call you for something, he don't want you to settle in any of these areas. So if I didn't get rejected from these areas, I would have settled and I wouldn't have accomplished my purpose that God has called me to accomplish. So I'm grateful for rejection when it comes to that, but I still deal with it. I still deal with that. So the, so the enemy is going to set you up to make you feel rejected. And when you feel, when I feel rejected, what does that breed? That breeds some kind of insecurity. It could breed bitterness if I let it. It could breed jealousy if I let it. That, that, it's not just the rejection. It's also what it, what it breeds if you allow it to, to take hold of your life. If you don't look at it from a spiritual standpoint, if you don't look at it from the God's eye view, if you don't have the relationship with God where God can send the right information and God could download the right information in your spirit to help you understand why these things have to happen so he can get why these things have to happen and these things happen so he can get the glory out of you so you can accomplish what you call to accomplish. Now, even 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 this video I'm making, I'm making it on the crest, on the verge of some attack that came my way today. You feel me? I had that attack, like I said, instead of that attack sending me somewhere else, sending me into this emotional um 
um, spiral, downward spiral. It could not because like I said, it's I'm, I'm a different person, baby. I'm not who I was before. I'm, God has been building in me and doing the work. I've been allowing God because that's a lot of a lot of people don't get it. You got to allow God the room to do the work in you. OK, I gave him full reign. I submitted to whatever he wants to do inside of me. So the attack that came today ain't hit like it's supposed to. Why? Because I don't have time for it to hit like it's supposed to. Somebody using fake pages to, to find me two years later after speaking about the same old things that they won't let go of. Like, come on. Like, obviously, you have time for that. Obviously, two years, nothing special or nothing big has happened in your life enough for you to move on and, and live a better life. But in two years, so much has happened for me that I don't even have time, baby. I don't even have time. I, you know what I have time to? Laugh. That's all you're going to get out of me. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, ha, ha, ha. And the thing is, I am, it, it makes me, it just did the opposite of what it's supposed to do. Because like I said, the same thing that would have had a had affect me negatively, the same thing that is, it's the same thing that's used to show me that, girl, you have grown. You have grown. God has really Change things inside of you. Your heart is different. Your mind is different. Your spirit is different. You have really ascended to a new level. And I thank God for that. So through that, since I learned that, I have to get on here. And I got to let you guys know that when you allow God to do the work in you, the same things that used to come and, 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 and take you off and take you out and derail you, those things not going to have no more power over you. But you got to let God do what he got to do in you. That's number one. And number two, number two, as I was saying, you have to understand the, 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 you have to understand from the God's eye view, the impact. It's all about the impact because if you are meant to do nothing, things won't come at you like they do. If you weren't meant for, for the greatness that you were meant for, things won't Things wouldn't hold on to you and try to try their hardest to hold you back. You think something would follow me two years later? I'm not even egging the situation on. I'm I don't, I'm not even having any contact with 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 the people involved in the situation. But two years later, something something's on my back won't let up. They trying trying to snatch me back. Trying to trying to uh uh um trying to get in the way of what people. See. See about me trying trying to get in the way of making people see me in a negative light, trying to shame me, trying to kill me. You think if I wasn't really called from an impact in some kind of capacity, something would not be able, this thing would 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 uh be following me and on my back like it is? Obviously not. Obviously not. So when you see those things showing up in your life the way they did and you're thinking to yourself like why me why does this have to happen to me uh why like i don't see it happening to everybody else you have to understand what you are called for what you are called to do and the impact you are called to have in this life that's what it is all of us face different battles but the battle you face there's certain things set up to try to ensnare you, but it's up to you to be able to identify. And the only way you'll be able to identify is if you, if you go on that journey of self-discovery, if you begin to heal from the things that you need to heal from, if you begin to love yourself, if you begin to do the work. And that's all I got to tell you guys today. Um, I'm praying that, you know, I am, if there's just one person that gets inspired off of this and and begins to go on their journey i'm grateful i am grateful i am grateful to god for you but thank you guys so much um it's been amazing you guys expect so much more from me i'm excited for um my growth i know you guys are excited for me but i'm excited for you as well and just be blessed have a good night